A year of deadly floods, severe drought and wildfires have left little doubt Earth's climate is changing. It's happening so fast, the WHO warns climate change is now the single biggest health threat facing humanity. We know very well that climate change is affecting the, the pillars of our health, food, water, uh, the quality of the air and shelters. Against that backdrop, the looming COP26 meeting will seek ambitious new global targets aimed at limiting the rise in Earth's temperature to 1.5 degrees Celsius, where scientists believe the worst impacts can be avoided. Proposed goals include an end date for the unabated use of coal, making all new cars zero emission within two decades, and ending deforestation by the end of the 2020s. The COP26 really is the, the most important opportunity in years to help put the world on a path to avoid the worst impacts of the climate crisis. Although U.S. President Joe Biden is attending and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is expected to go, Chinese President Xi Jinping reportedly won't be there. China is the world's largest emitter of greenhouse gases and has hinted it may rethink its timetable for slashing emissions and build more coal-fired power plants amidst an energy shortage. So I think uh, whether or not uh, the president comes or not, I think the key thing to keep an eye on is what they commit to and what the actual uh, delivery and, and policies look like. Promises made are not always promises kept. Not a single G20 country is on track to meet the targets of the 2015 Paris Accord. This week, Queen Elizabeth was caught on a hot mic talking about the summit, clearly frustrated with world leaders. Climate activists aren't backing down, planning to ramp up the pressure on leaders who will gather in Glasgow, warning the entire world will suffer the consequences of inaction. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.